Welcome back to First Business Morning News. Well, finding those right people to learn from and to teach can be tough, but it can also lead you to greater success. In fact, research shows that people involved in mentoring relationships tend to go on to more professional success and a fatter paycheck as well. And that research comes to us courtesy of Ellen Insher. She is a professor at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles, author of the book entitled Power Mentoring. Professor, good morning, Ellen. How are you? I'm well, thanks. So how is it that these mentoring relationships lead to bigger paychecks and more happiness for us? Well, there's uh, mentors directly provide these benefits through a great relationship. So they invite them into the inner circle, they introduce them to key people, and they give them lots of feedback. So all of these things directly relate to all these great benefits. And talk to us about power mentoring. I think everybody's certainly uh, familiar with what a mentoring relationship, mm -hmm. but you adopted power mentoring. What does that mean? Right. Power mentoring is a little different than traditional mentoring. It's about having a network. So it's the idea... It's more than just one, then. More than just one. We like to say it's about polygamy instead of monogamy. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd like more than one mentor. Have and, more than one. And is that across industry groups, for instance? Across industry groups and also have different types of mentors. We've identified 10 unique types. We won't have time to go through all of them, but give us a, just a, a scattering handful. Barrier busting, so maybe a mentor in a different political party or a different organization. Um, an inspirational mentor, somebody that you look to who can give you inspiration. Mm -hmm. uh, an e-mentor, that's one that's really popular. And reverse mentors. What, what is an e-mentor? An e-mentor is a mentor that you have online. Gotcha. Okay, a different kind of relationship. Right. And speak to us about the relationship and a mentor. I mean, do, do you identify, if someone is looking to find a mentor, do you identify them in the office uh, place and, and approach them and say, I want you to mentor me. <laughs> How do you go about cu cultivating that relationship? I think that's a really excellent question. We found that 45 out of the 50 people we spoke to all had initiated contact with a mentor. So the first key is to look around, find somebody that you think is compelling and interesting and that you can learn from, and then approach them. But try to make a warm call instead of a cold call. <laughs> that's the attraction part of that's that That's the attraction part, right. Talk to me about the interaction because that's the meat of it. So what happens once you for, once you make that contact? Mm -hmm, correct. Um, ideally, somebody will have introduced you. And then what you say to them is something like, look, you have something that I can really learn from. And in return, and here's the key, reciprocity. And right. in return, I can do something for you. So hopefully it's a situation of complementary skills. And finally, that builds up to a pinnacle, something in the book you call defining moments. Right. How does that play out? Right. I love the idea of defining moments. Defining moments is that situation. Uh, it's something that happens that takes a relationship in a different direction. Give us an example. Um, one great example comes from Rosario Marin, our former U.S. treasurer. She was mentoring a young woman, Araceli Gonzalez, up and coming, and Araceli encountered corruption in the city of Cudahy. Mm. Went to, didn't know what to do, went to her mentor, and her mentor said, turn him in, do the right thing. And Araceli found everyone turned against her except Rosario, but it really then was the impetus for a great career for her. She found support to be the whistleblower and do the right, not only ethical thing, but probably the right legal thing as right, well. Right, exactly. Ellen, best of luck with the book. We appreciate Thanks. your time. Uh, by the way, uh, do you have a mentor? I do. I have several. I have a network of mentors. Polygamy in practice, right? <laughs> Ellen Insure, Loyola Marymount. The book is Power Mentoring.